Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 8. Now in this proposition, we start with two numbers, A and B, which are square, and have sides C and D, respectively. And the first part of this proposition states that if A measures B, then C measures D. C measures D. Or conversely, if C measures D, then A measures B. And that is the proposition that we need to demonstrate. So let's again start with the first part where we have that A measures B. We create a number E such that it is equal to C multipli multiplied by D. And we have that A to E equals E to B equals C to D, which was proven in Proposition 11 of this book. Now, since A to E is equal to E to B and they're continuously proportional, then if A, A measures B, or A measures B, then A also measures E. And that's from Proposition 7. And if you recall, it states that if the first element measures the last element, then it also measures the second element. So we know that A measures E. But we also have that A to E is equal to C to D. And by definition of ratios equaling each other, this means that if A measures E, J times, then D measures C, J times. And that, again, is the definition of the equality of ratios. So thus we've shown that if A measures B, then J, sorry, then C also measures D. Let's look at the converse. We start with C measuring D. So again, we have E equals C D and we have A to E equals E to B equals C to D. And since <clears throat> C measures D J times, then by definition of the equality of A to E is C to D, by definition of what that means, then we know that A measures E J number of times. But we have that A is to E, A measures E, and if A measures E, then A also measures B. And thus we have shown the second part of this proof. It may feel like this proof sort of stepped over a couple of issues if you are jumping to this proposition straight away. But if you go back and look at all the previous propositions of these books, everything that's been stated here has been demonstrated in an earlier proposition. So that's it for this proposition.